Beneath the golden sands of Egypt, a secret slept for over three thousand years, sealed inside forgotten tombs, guarded by silence, and by the desert itself. But now, a strand of DNA, no wider than a whisper, has broken that silence. A genetic fingerprint, preserved in mummified flesh, has begun to speak. It tells of kings who were worshipped as gods, of dynasties that shaped the ancient world, and of a lineage far more complex and unexpected than history ever dared to record. From the Valley of the Kings to hidden laboratories, science is unwrapping a truth buried deeper than the pyramids themselves. The question is no longer who the pharaohs were, but where they truly came from. And the answer could rewrite the story of Egypt forever. For over two millennia, the pharaohs of Egypt have stood as symbols of divine power and eternal glory. Their monuments pierce the desert sky, their treasures gleam in the halls of museums, and their names echo through history. Ramses, Tutankhamun, Cleopatra. Yet, for all the splendor carved in stone, one mystery remained unsolved, their true biological origins. Ancient records spoke of divine births, of gods descending from the heavens to rule the Nile. Greek historians told of foreign dynasties, while Arab chroniclers hinted at rulers who were not entirely Egyptian by blood. Across time, theories collided, fueled by fragments of archaeology and whispers of migration. Were the pharaohs the descendants of Africa's earliest civilizations, or were they heirs to empires far beyond the sands, carrying the blood of distant kingdoms? The question haunted Egyptologists for generations. And now, with the arrival of cutting-edge DNA analysis, the oldest dynasty on Earth was about to face the truth. It began in the summer heat of 2017 deep within the storerooms of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. A team of geneticists and archaeologists carefully unwrapped the linen bandages from a royal mummy long sealed away from public view. The body was fragile, its skin darkened and cracked by centuries, yet within its bones lay something untouched by time, ancient DNA. Extracting it was a delicate dance against decay. Using sterilized tools and protective suits, the scientists removed tiny bone fragments from the skull and femur, sealing them instantly to avoid contamination. The samples were then transported under armed guard to a state-of-the-art genetics lab, where ultra-clean rooms and negative air pressure ensured no modern DNA could interfere. When the first sequences appeared on the screen, the team realized they were staring at a code older than the pyramids themselves. This was the first true genetic voice of Egypt's ancient rulers, and it was ready to speak. In a lab shielded from the outside world, every movement was slow, precise, almost ceremonial. The DNA was fragmented, as if time itself had shattered it into thousands of microscopic pieces. Reassembling those fragments, was like solving a puzzle with most of its pieces missing. The scientists used next-generation sequencing machines capable of reading billions of genetic letters in a single run, searching for patterns that could match known populations from across the ancient world. But obstacles loomed at every stage. Contamination from ancient handling, the degradation caused by centuries in a humid tomb, and the challenge of separating genuine ancient signals from modern intrusions. Historical records were brought in for comparison. Maps of trade routes traced across the Nile. Migration patterns reconstructed from archaeology. Slowly, a picture began to emerge. The pharaoh's genetic story was not purely local, and the threads they were finding reached far beyond the Sahara, toward lands Egyptologists had never imagined. When the final genetic profiles appeared, they carried a revelation that struck like a bolt through the heart of history. The mummy's DNA showed strong ties not only to ancient populations of North Africa, but also to peoples from the Eastern Mediterranean and even regions of the Near East. 
Haplogroups, the deep genetic signatures that trace humanity's migrations, revealed markers more commonly found in ancient Anatolia and the Levant than in sub-Saharan Africa. This did not erase their Egyptian identity, but it painted a far more complex picture of the royal bloodline, a fusion of cultures and genes from across continents. These results aligned with archaeological hints of trade, diplomacy, and even royal marriages with foreign dynasties. The genetic data stood as irrefutable evidence, verified by independent laboratories across Europe. The pharaohs were not isolated rulers born solely of the Nile. Their lineage was woven from the threads of empires far beyond Egypt's borders. To understand how such a diverse genetic heritage reached the throne of Egypt, scientists and historians turned back the clock to the Bronze Age. This was an era of vast trade networks, when ships laden with cedar wood, copper, lapis lazuli, and grain crossed the Mediterranean and the Red Sea. Envoys traveled between kingdoms, forging alliances sealed not just with gold, but with marriages between royal houses. Foreign princesses arrived in Thebes with their entourages, bringing their customs, languages, and bloodlines into the heart of the Egyptian court. In times of war, prisoners of noble birth were taken from distant lands, some rising to positions of influence within the palace. Over generations, these unions left their genetic imprint, blending the Nile's ancient dynasties with the peoples of far-off coasts and mountains. The pharaohs, it seemed, were not the children of one land, but the heirs of a world that met and mingled long before modern borders existed. The revelation shattered the centuries-old image of Egypt's rulers as an isolated, purely native dynasty. Instead, it unveiled a truth far richer. The pharaohs were living proof of humanity's interconnected past. Their blood carried the memory of distant seas, foreign mountains, and ancient alliances that shaped the course of civilization. This discovery forces us to reconsider not only Egyptian history, but the very idea of cultural purity in the ancient world. In reality, borders were fluid, and power was often built on the blending of peoples and ideas. The DNA hidden for millennia beneath layers of linen now speaks louder than any carved hieroglyph, telling us that Egypt's greatness was born from connection, not isolation. And if the sands of time can still reveal such secrets, one must wonder, how many more truths lie buried, waiting for science to bring them back to life? Subscribe for more journeys into the hidden past, because history is not finished speaking.